Hey guys, what is up? It's Rowley here today, and today I'm doing another video on, um, I guess, explaining different fitness concepts. Today's fitness concept that I'm gonna break down is why you're not getting fitter. Um, so the last video I did was on why you're not getting stronger. Today's video is on why you're not getting fitter. And some of the same sort of principles to strength are gonna apply over to fitness. So the first thing is just understanding um, what most people probably refer to as fitness. Um, and maybe what you should be referring to when you say the word fitness. So most people when they're talking about the, the feeling of saying they feel fit or unfit, generally they're referring to um, like their aerobic fitness. So if someone's aerobically fit, then generally they're gonna, they're, they're gonna say that person's really fit because they can do things like running for a long time or maybe they can run fast. Uh, maybe they can row a lot, maybe they can be out of breath for a long time and maintain their ability to be out of breath without having to take lots of breaks. So when it comes to aerobic fitness, um, first thing is just defining it. So, you know, any activity that's not gonna be longer than two minutes long um, or 120 seconds is an aerobic activity. So anything past that two minute mark, if you're doing a workout, is an aerobic workout. So that's the first thing to understand, like just knowing that if you're doing something that's longer than two minutes, then you're working your aerobic system. Now, something that's really important to understand is that your aerobic system is no different than your, um, than your anaerobic system or any other sort of um, system that you have in your body. We need to build um, volume in that, in, in that sort of framework um, of, of fitness. So with your ability to be out of breath, we can kind of think of your lungs and your, your ability to transfer oxygen from your muscle and all that sort of stuff. Um, something to understand is that if you want to get fitter and you actually want to be able to be out of breath for a little bit longer, um, what you need to do is you need to stress that part of your system, that part of your body, for an amount of time that creates an adaptation. Now, something really simple that you can do, you can think about is, um, if you never spend very long being out of breath, then it's probably gonna be harder for you to actually get out of breath for, um, it's gonna be hard for you to become like more aerobically fit. So really, a really basic um, framework or a baseline that you need to think about is that anybody that you know that is really, really fit has spent a long time being out of breath. And that, that could just mean that they've ran a lot. Like they have a big, a, a base in, in running, maybe they have a base in, um, you know, rowing or swimming or something like that. So that base of support is what kind of supports this pyramid um, so that they can express um, eventually doing something like a high intensity workout and being able to stay out of breath while they're working really, really hard. So um, if you're always doing workouts that are, 10 to 20 minutes long, then you're never gonna develop a very big aerobic base. So something that you need to think about is that it's important for you to eventually have goals of what you wanna reach in your aerobic fitness. So those goals might be things like, if you've never been for a half an hour run, that's something to maybe aim for. And then maybe something like a 45 minute run or an hour run or any sort of cardio where you're just being out of breath for a very long time without taking any break. The issue with a lot of cross training type workouts is that there's lots of start and stopping, start and stopping, just due to the nature of it. So even if we take like, um, we take a workout like that has thruster and pull-ups, you're stopping at the thrusters, like at the top of every rep, you're um, stopping when you put the bar down and then you go do pull-ups. There's lots of breaks in that and you're not actually being out of breath the entire time, especially if you do a 20 minute version of that, there's gonna be elements in that workout where you have completely stopped working and you're not stressing your aerobic system in the same way that you would as if you were to do something at a more moderate pace, but for a longer amount of time. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to eventually run marathons or anything like that, not that that would hurt, but it just means that you just need to give yourself a goal to just being able to do an hour long run or something along the lines of that. Now, once you've developed that ability to maybe, you know, being able to run for 60 minutes, then it's, you can start thinking about the intensity that you're bringing to your aerobic sessions. So you can think about things like, can you now run 60 minutes? How far can you run in 60 minutes? And could you run a little bit further in 60 minutes? So maybe you take, maybe in 60 minutes you run 12 Ks, maybe your aim should be now to be able to run 10 Ks in that and then maybe nine Ks. And then, then you're really developing your aerobic system in a way that will translate to what you wanna do in a cross training type environment. Where if you're doing CrossFit or you're doing something like that, where you wanna improve your ability to, to be strong and potent in a, like a five to 20 minute workout where kind of most workouts lie, then um, that's gonna be really relevant to you. But before you focus on 
like being able to run fast or or do something quickly and explosively in a long period of time you just need to develop that base of support and just get used to doing things at a moderate to slow pace because that's the trick to being able to do things for that really long period it's it's hard to maintain a high intensity until you've built up to that high intensity so what you need to do is just you need to develop that base bit by bit by bit um, and that base just gets developed by just being out of breath um, and then over time, it's you know not just doing that once a week, but doing that two to three, four, five times a week. Anybody that you know that is really fit has spent a long time um, being out of breath and doing really long kind of distance type work or long time um, like work in a longer time domain, something longer than 10, 20 minutes. So something really simple that you can add to your training is that if you're, all of your workouts are always in this sort of like five to 20 minute domain, it's doing some workouts that are longer in nature and if you want to do this in a cross training type environment something really simple that you can do is you can just potentially um, program for yourself workouts or have a coach program workouts for you that are um, that have movements that don't require don't have a lot of stopping and starting so for example things like you know maybe um, air squats lunges ball slams rowing skipping things that you know don't require like a big effort for you to pick up something and lift it so nothing too heavy not just generally body weight movements things like that um, or if you're gonna do some gymnastics movements maybe doing them in, in smaller sets so you can move from one movement to the other and you can do something like a 60 minute AMRAP with movements that don't require you to be um, taking really long breaks in between anyway if you are struggling with why you're not getting fitter maybe you're just not spending enough time in a longer time domain so that you can actually develop an aerobic base that's kind of the takeaway from the video um, if you need any help with coaching or anything like that, um, you can contact me on the links below. And um, if you found this video helpful, then um, please share it around or just um, take note of what I said. And if you have any questions, like I said, ask them below and I'll make a video about that. Take care guys and peace.